slider in. Flip the background. Slowly, carefully. Bilsif, I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, I'm gonna give myself a haircut. No, I'm just joking, I'm not gonna do that. I got myself a crazy carpet, and you're probably thinking, why the hell would you buy a crazy carpet? Well, this is why. Crazy carpet material makes great material for protecting things and making things not rub together. As you know, I'm rebuilding the leaves on the truck, and I got these pads for, of course, the leaves where they skid across on the rub rub J on the ends. But I like to put a little bit of something between where it bolts to the rear end, just to stop anything from creaking and crackling in there. So I use a little bit of crazy curve. I know you're probably gonna say, what the hell, you don't need that for Christ's sake. Yes, I do. We gotta get it real early tomorrow, too, because they're blowing up a old smokestack at OPG, which is the old generating station here in uh, my neck of the woods. So we gotta get up early for that. Hey, if you wanna take a look at that video, then uh, just go over all over there to uh, Life with Bills of Two. That's where that will probably be. If you wanna see something get blown up, pretty great you do. Don't forget, hit it down, son. So there we go, we got a nice straight edge there. So now what we wanna do is we wanna bring up a leaf. All right, there it is. We want it to be how about that wide, right there. So I'm gonna say, as wide as this level is perfect. Friggin' right as wide as this level. So there's a strip I need. So now we gotta cut it in strips. And we'll just guess and go for a strip about that wide. Because it doesn't have to be perfect, it don't. A strip about that wide. How many do we need? One, two, three, four. Four of them we do. Oh, hold on, over top. Hey, I think we're gonna be perfect here. Believe you me, there it is. Decent. So we got four of them. So now I wanna make a hole in it for the bull. So you know, you want a kind of a decent kind of round hole on here. So what I'm gonna use is I'm just gonna sharpen one of my old sockets and we'll just give her a one of them. And that should give me a round mark. Well, it should actually do more than that. It should actually cut it right out of there for me. That's what I was hoping for, but it doesn't look like it's working. Jim, break. Maybe we need to do it on here, do I? Do it right on the doodad. That sounded pretty good. There it is. Look at that round hole. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's do another one just for good measures. Perfect. And another. Perfect. And one more, Jim. Scratching up my new paint on my leash. Friggin' right we did. So if you wanna make yourself round holes in crazy carpet, hell, just use an old socket. It seems to work pretty damn good, guys. As you see. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the leaves up here. Then we're gonna kinda assemble three of them together just on the bench. We're not putting these in yet because I'm still waiting for paint to dry. Oh yeah, that's backwards. Look at that, Jim. We're getting somewhere we are. Oh, that's gonna go that way. Which way does that go? Frank, I can't remember. Oh, dick. Showing long to the back. So when you get on it, the rear end wants to go this way. Hmm, room, room. So I'm thinking this should probably go this way. Oh God, it's still wet somewhere. I'm getting wet paint all over me. I don't know which way to put that now. I guess it doesn't really freaking matter, does it? Not really. So let's just get out one of these bolts for now. We'll stick it through just to hold it together. See how it looks. I'm thinking, I do have this, like I said, the right bolts, but I'm gonna go with this just for now, just to see how she goes together. We got that, another one of these on here. That going on here. Oh yeah, yeah we freaking did. There we go, yes. There it is right there. So I'll tell you right now that bolt's too long by a long shot. Friggin' right there. Holy cow, how you doing? How you doing, wet paint? Let's go for this one. Ooh, I ended up actually using them. That's better. Yeah, we did. Perfect. That there is going to be the leaf. Put it back together, it is. And I'm pretty sure the long went to the back. Yeah, I got that backwards. That's a long to the front. I put the paint on too heavy on this thing. Get me wet. Quit fucking with it. God damn it. Now, if you're making your own bolts, make sure they're grade eight at least, and just round off the head like that. Steve, I'm going to be giving them ones back to you because they won't fit into my rear end. They're a little too big for that one. I grinded it out and I still can't get the head to bury itself. So I'm gonna go with these grade eight bolts here and make my own because once they're together, they're not gonna fall apart. Yeah. There we go. So that leaf is ready to kind of be hung and that one goes on that side. Do you understand what I'm saying? Probably not, because I don't. Careful. So there's one. Jim. Ah, hey. Ah. And then of course, once we get it in the truck, we'll put uh, these brackets on. 
Look at all the dust I got all over the place. I couldn't resist. I ended up grinding the whole frame on the truck again and repainting it because it was just cocked over and I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I had to repaint it. I grinded it all down the frame along here and I repainted it. Painted ready to go, that leaf painted ready to go and stuff like that. Cause that's what I do. Let's get the other leaf and slap it together. That one goes like that. Got our bolt ready to go. Slap that on there like that. And now we're gonna make a few more of these we do. Leave your comments down below if you ever did that with your leaf springs. Leave your comments down below if you think I'm just copying it over and I have no idea what I'm doing. Cause that works too. Hey, I don't mind it. If you don't think you know what I'm doing, that's good with me. Why would I? Another thing this crazy carpet works good too for, if you're a glass man, you need to have this crazy carpet. Because when you get into a tight spot with some paint, you can just use that as a friggin' doodad and I totally cock that right over. Why wouldn't I? It's all good, doesn't have to be perfect. How do you lose a hammer that quick? Hammer, hammer, I said. Oh, haven't I? I think I got these right, you know what? I'll be dipped. Look at that, Captain. And then we need one more spacer doodad. There we go. So we got our crazy carpet set. They're ready to go, and we got our leaf set ready to go. We got a nut. These things should slip back together. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Ah, pretty sure that goes to the back. This goes to the front, I think. Yes. Well, I should be able to tell which way is bigger. The long goes to the back. Do we have it right? No. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it goes the other way. This way. There we go. Goes like that. Friggin' right it does. We did it. I got that one right. So they're right, that's how they go. Leafs are ready to go. So now tomorrow we can put them in. Remember, this side's the passenger side, the one closest to me. That one goes in there, the creek there. What a beautiful thing we're done here today. Man, oh man, that looks good. It's almost dry. I could put the leaves in tonight. Frig, maybe we should put one in. What do you think? Well, we're gonna have to put them both in though because then we gotta drop the axe on the weight on it and see how it sits and we can't bolt it up until we see how it sits and this and that and the other friggin' thing. This looks like it's all dicked over and in the wrong spot. We'll hang one in there though and see how it looks, eh? Let's do that together. Let me get you a lighter too. I gotta go to bed soon. Like I said, I gotta get up early. Still haven't got my hydro billing for that here yet. Don't worry, I haven't forgot you guys. I'll let you know how much it costs once I get the bill. You see? Okay, so let's get a nut ready. And then here we come. Let's get the nut right here. Hey! Oh yeah, I flipped it, didn't I? Oh God, here, let me put a nut on to hold it together. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Okay, flip her upside down. Slide her in. Flip the background. Slowly, carefully. Oh, was happening. Now we gotta get her back up. Come here. And how you do that is a hell of a lot of work. Where's my C-clamp? I've never done this before, so bear with me. A whole bunch of you guys are gonna say, that's not how you do that. Well, I know it's not. I've never done it before. So leave me alone. Why wouldn't you? Just think I might have to take all this back apart again because I don't know how it's gonna sit. This is a test. I'll crank her up. Okay. Careful, where are you going, Jim? Stay there, would you? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this is friggin' mint. I have to tell you how, how good I am at this? Probably not. Hey, it's working. Whatever works, Captain. If I was stronger and younger, I'd just manhandle the sucker right in. But I'm not younger or stronger. We're kind of euchred there we are. Bring her back a little bit more. We'll wait until we get right up there. We won't take that bolt out until we get close. Careful, where are you going? Stay on there. Get back there. Get over there. What the hell are you doing? Stay, Frank. My C-clamp's trying to cock me over here, Jim. Oh, we're getting close. Pressure's starting. This way, there we go. Okay, let's go some more. How's that bolt looking? You can probably take that out now, maybe. Maybe not. Almost need another C-clamp here, we do. Oh, brother. Have faith, she'll go. Where'd my nut go? Don't lose that. Okay, up, in, up, in, up, in. This might be easier outside of the truck. If you're doing this yourself, you might want to take the whole freaking thing out. But I didn't want to, so it is what it is. Hey, look at that, it's in the hole. Something's happening, Jim. We're almost there. There it is. There we go, Jim. Once we get our spacers on there to hold her all in line, we'll be cooking with butter. Decent. Let's tighten her up. Careful. There we go. There we go. Aw, oh, dick. I could probably almost have this thing in tonight, you know that? I'm gonna go too tight right now with these because I wanna set the truck down and 
see how it sits. Might have to put a spacer on one side, I don't know yet. I still gotta put these on, like I said, but I don't wanna do that until I see how it sits as well. So you're gonna put the shocks on. So we'll have to just see what it tells me. Right here shortly. I worked up a sweat, Captain. All right, we got the wheels back on her. We got her back on the ground. So let's see what we got. We've got just under 29, 28 and three quarters at the back. So I come down actually two inches and we got, oh man, we're right there. She might be like a quarter of an inch too lower, but that's it. We pretty much nailed it. Quarter of an inch ain't bad at all. Friggin' right we are. This side's a tad lower, so that means I have a, a lazy leaf. They're not broken now, but a lazy one. Once I get the shocks in, it might help. If not, I can always space it a little bit the other way now that I got room, right? It worked. Take out two of the middle leaves on your truck and you'll bring her down two inches or so for anybody that wants to know. But there she is. She's pretty much down there now. Friggin' right it is. Woo! This video kicked the shit out of me. My big fat ass. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Don't forget to try to get over 100 thumbs up. That'd be great. And subscribe too, why wouldn't you? Until the next one, love you all. And you know what to do for now.